As a leader, you have the power to be a poor listener. Yet you already know that active listening will make you a better leader. How can you easily develop a good listening skill? Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenu from IMPI. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant for this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. First, the case for becoming a better listener is well developed, in particular with Stephen Covey. The fifth habit of highly successful people is seek first to understand, then to be understood. But it is so damn difficult when you are in the position of leadership and you have a bias to believe that your words have more value than those of your followers. So I'm going to give you three tips that will make you a better listener. The context could be a business conversation, a standard meeting, or a project review, or a coaching session. Tip number one, wait. Do you have a tendency to speak over other people? Or you keep on going on and on and on? This is not communication. You are not really actively listening because you are already preparing a response in your head. What you really want is to be totally focused on what the other person is saying. So tell yourself, wait, why am I talking? I credit my mentor, Charles White, with this tip. Once, after one of my lengthy ex expositions, he just told me, wait, why am I talking? This was his charitable way of saying, Pierre, shut up. What you will gain from applying this tip is respect in action. Getting the complete answer and being aware of the other person's emotions and body language. This tells a lot. Okay. Tip number two. This is the two seconds rule. Don't be in a rush to answer after your interlocutor has finished talking. As a kid, my mom used to tell me, turn your tongue three times in your mouth before you talk. I always found this weird and unpractical. No, what you want is to count two seconds after the other person has finished talking before you respond. And this is not to manage the latency in video calls. We need to be comfortable with silence in conversations. When you practice this tip, the other persons will generally feel the need to fill in the silence and provide more facts and opinions. We get deeper into the conversation. It also gives you the time to ponder and provide a better response. As a bonus, you may look wiser. Next, tip number three. Ask two questions for every statement you make. Develop the habit of asking smart questions to your subordinates. It forces them to reflect and think for themselves. It prevents you from solving their problems. They can't throw the monkeys at you that easily. I remember at a show and tell about two decades ago, a CEO of a large organization saying, my job is to ask my subordinates the right questions and to give them the resources to answer them. Powerful. This is the road to empowerment. So these simple tips will result in you affirming, appreciating and understanding your conversation partners. Wait, two seconds rule, ask two smart questions for every statement you, you make. Maybe. The secret ingredient of the secret ingredient soup of leadership is to become an outstanding listener. And this is the good quote for this episode. It's anonymous, but you wouldn't disagree. It can be attributed to God. I've given you two ears and one mouth. So listen twice as much as you speak. Isn't this beautiful?
If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at impi.solutions. Here is a clue. From this view, we can see the entrance to a World Heritage Site in the Western Cape in South Africa. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, listen to lead well.